Um, one of the things we've done is we've, we've actually partnered with Trimble starting a long time ago. We started our partnership with them in 2006 and it was more of a loose um, situation where they would provide the hardware and the software for us for the um, guidance part of the business. Which at that time guidance was just getting going, just getting started. Mm -hmm. People were really thought that was quite amazing to have a tractor drive by itself with satellites etc. And so we used them because at the time they were considered the best of the best in the business. Um, we've slowly integrated more of their software for the precision farming side of it into our setups in our, in our machines, our tractors especially. Um, and then th this past uh, fall we actually built, uh, we put a much tighter agreement with Trimble so that now we're actually doing joint engineering things together. So now we actually take into account some of the new Holland machinery and the applications we're going to use the machine for when we're designing software and hardware to go together. So one of the future looks at things that would be like a common display. So you have one display that has the tractor or the combine items in it and the precision farming, as well as the guidance, as well as running the implement. All in one display, a customer has access to everything. Okay. So precision farming to New Holland agriculture, unfortunately, means a lot of those different definitions as well. Um, so the row crop farmer in the middle of Iowa, his requirement is to get nice straight rows. A lot of those customers are now wanting to do everything at one inch. Mm -hmm. They realize the ability and the overlap and wow, look, I've got four more rows of corn I now can plant. And at 200 bushels the acre, that's a lot more money in my pocket. Um, all the way up to the precision farming on the combine. When he brings the crop in and the yield and the moisture, he builds his prescription. He then has that prescription to run for the seeding and then he can start varying his fertilizer rates through the field and save even more money. All the way up to the precision farming of those guys in California where they get into uh, underground irrigation systems and drip irrigation. They don't want to knock those out. They don't want to destroy them or damage them in any way. So that's a huge advantage we're gaining that in Holland, because we have such a big product offering in that specialty crop market like Dan Valen mentioned, um, we have to pay attention to that as well. So we have to deal with small tractors and grape harvesters and their straight line ability, as well as how many grapes are they bringing in per hour. And right down to the point now where we're working on with grape and olive harvesters are making sure the machine is so sophisticated it's only picking the ones that are ripe and leaving the ones behind. So precision farming, even to New Holland, means more than just the corn and soybean farmer in Illinois or Iowa now.